Hi, this is Shay with Trucks of Sales here today looking at this 2012 Kenworth T800 with an 09 Tornado uh, vacuum unit on it. Um, we actually have one more of these Tornado vacuum units in uh, excellent condition. It wasn't a rollover or anything. It was just one we took off a chassis at 2012 with the Ryobishi uh, blower from Italy, the uh, blower motor on that one. So I will show you some shots of that one here at the end of the video of the actual tank we have but we can set up another one of these identical units or on a different chassis um, as well if you want a Peterbilt or save some money with the Freightliner something like that we do have these available uh, this was originally um, tank was fitted on a tandem axle truck but we put the lift axle because as you know these things are heavy um, so the other one is exactly uh, the same capacities and dimensions and everything of this one just about three years newer so uh, it has this full extending boom up there uh, can suck dry or wet materials um, this has the manual controls right here as well as um, electric controls uh, on a um, tethered remote here you can see we got the trinado blower on this one so the other one has a little different blower on it you can see on this one uh, we eliminated the water heater and we also disconnected all of the um, valve heating elements and all of that stuff as you can see there's no coolant lines running to any of the valves so if that was an option that you wanted to keep all that stuff we can do that uh, this customer here wanted it as light of weight as possible so we did not put the toolboxes um, back on either so that was another possibility um, got the whole pressure washer set up um, here as well there you can see the uh, tethered remote um, this also does have the option uh, to be uh, remote control as well so that stuff is installed um, in there uh, we did not get that fully functional the remote control but we could if that was an option that you wanted um, this chassis is full double frame uh, has a 20,000 pound front axle that we put the brand new Yokohama 425s on um, see we got the uh, silencers there on it we put a Hendrickson steerable lift axle we slid the axles back uh, just to try to get more weight on these back axles so that's something uh, that we can do as well got all the work lights everything works back here um, extra manual valve on the uh, tailgate latch release we shut off all aluminum rims on this one and left the uh, cover off here so we can take a look in there see if the oh yeah that's bright enough so we re-epoxied uh, just sanded down and re-epoxied all the uh, spaces where the epoxy was flaking off wasn't really uh, much rust on this one just you know surface rust where the epoxy had come off so we redid that for the water tank same thing in the debris tank that's also in excellent condition and this one's an 09 so the other one we have is a 2012 we'll take a look inside of that one um, as well and then we kind of did these uh, diamond plate aluminum here again just want to keep the weight down on this particular one we got the big old hydraulic tank there with filter all fresh filters all serviced and everything so you still got a decent amount of storage again you can fit a 48 inch toolbox right there on both sides if you want more tool capacity um, nice thing about this chassis and we have another identical one is uh, this fuel tank and def tank all nice and tucked away here under the door so as you can see you don't need a whole lot uh, it doesn't take up a whole lot of frame space so you got plenty of room for toolboxes and all that stuff so definitely um, a good chassis and we have a 2013 with 306 on the miles and these have uh, Cummins um, ISX 15s set at 
400 horsepower, so the lower horsepower setting uh, that can be turned up to 485 if desired. And this just has a regular um, 10 speed on it. You can see this one actually uh, is about the same miles as the other one. It's basic gauge package, does have full locking differentials as you can see. Uh, drive line on, all that, 10 speed. Batteries under the passenger seat, again, just freeing up tons of frame rail space. Got a battery kill switch right there. Um, this cab definitely cleaned up nicely. Here's our 2012 F3 Tornado vacuum tank with the mufflers on it and a Ribucci blower it's got, if I'm saying that right. Got the boom. This came off a working truck, so this was this truck was not in an accident at all. So everything was working, but uh, we actually uh, sold the truck for another use and repurposed it here. Um, and we have this vacuum tank uh, available. And um, as you can see, this one will definitely come out nice with a fresh coat of paint. And go ahead and look in the tank here. So we will be re-epoxing this tank. Right now it has surface rust on it. No real deep set in rust. And on that, that's just uh, the dirt covering the epoxy. So all the epoxy is still on that part there. But you can see it would help to uh, just flake all this off, shine it up real good, and then put a fresh coat of epoxy on there. So definitely worth uh, restoring here on this Tornado vacuum tank, 2012 unit. And here's the cabinet, all matching stuff connected together here, blower motor. So 2300 hours on the boiler, water pump, 1727 hours. We're actually going to be putting a brand new water pump on there, so won't have to worry about that. And the blower, 2482 hours on that. So, and we got all the wiring harnesses for this to connect right back up. And if you do want the uh, water heater connected, we can do that or leave it off. But brand new uh, water pump on this unit. Yeah, just give us a call and uh, we'll get you a price on setting up another one of these tornado vacuum trucks. So we got the full unit ready to go. Several chassis options available on that. You can visit our website at www.trucksofsales for more information. Thank you.